All right, what's up, guys? Today on Stat Attack, I'm going to be going over drone reconnaissance. All right. Uh, sorry if you hear any squeaking in the background. My chair is very squeaky. I am recording this from my computer, um, so the mic quality is going to be better than normal. Um, what's my background in this is when I was in the military, I got attached to an Op 4 unit where... I got put into a detail where I got to learn uh, fl learn basically drone reconnaissance. I wasn't using any of the fancy drones the conventional military gets or conventional army gets like the Pumas or anything like that. No, uh, what I got was a DJI uh, Phantom 4 drone. Um, so this was a relatively new program they were doing in the army. Um, so since I was out four units, they decided to, uh, train us up on this stuff, uh, since, uh, our enemies were using it overseas, um, for more than just recon, they were, like, you can kind of see this, what's going on in Ukraine, is the, they're rigging the drones to drop grenades and explosives and, uh, you know, gas or smoke or whatever, and so, um, they're, the way they're using drones uh, other than reconnaissance or like as a support role they're, so they're also using it to like take out individuals i um, not going to be going over how to lethally use a drone uh, in this video or probably any video in the future uh, what I'm just going to be going over in this video is the reconnaissance uh, usage of these drones so alright uh, we used Phantom 4s when I was in the military. Uh, they were still using uh, DJI's uh, software for uh, everything, except uh, they would we would instead of like uh, we weren't allowed to use any kind of personal devices or any kind of devices that been um, connected to the internet. So we had a separate device to keep. Uh, I guess China from acquiring that information or whatever since these are Chinese drones um, so it added a level of security uh, when I was in they were developing uh, it never got around between the time that I was in and I got out and learned the stuff is that they were developing a software of their own for their GPS mapping and everything like that I think it might be ATAC I don't know um, so um, or it might be something different, but uh, they're using the DJ stuff when I was in, but just on a unconnected device. It was an iPad or whatever, but that has never been connected to the internet whatsoever. Um, creating that, I guess, that level of security. Um, so we're gonna go from there. Uh, so drones can be used for reconnaissance which we're going to be going over they can be used for uh conducting diversions say you want to you attach a device fly it out maybe create a smoke screen you can do that if you want or you can use it as a supportive role in delivering uh supplies if you have a big enough one or a light enough load for your drone you can deliver shit out to other people and then, uh, you know, delivering munitions or uh, using munitions, dropping them from the drone. Um, all right. Um, so those are some ways to deploy your drones. Uh, so drones are pretty hard to uh, shoot down, especially these smaller Phantom 4 drones or uh, these. Uh, they have the newer DJI drones that are out now that are a lot more affordable and effective um especially in the reconnaissance rounds they can actually fit in your pack uh the one the phantom 4 that we were carrying around i got to carry around came in a big fucking case and it was bulky and i just attached it with like some like carabiners and 550 cord to my salt pack and i just carry around the big old phone case to protect it because i didn't want to get charges for it if it broke i ended up breaking one eventually though anyway so yeah all right so uh from what i've been told is that they they flew these drones through like a minigun before while wow, that thing was going off and it received like no hits so they're pretty hard to shoot down um they're pretty hard to see 
um, especially if, like say you got like a black one or something, you can always camo it, spray paint it or something to uh, match sky color. Uh, so it helps it blend in. Uh, from what I, I've kind of come to learn now is that uh, drones are able to, well, they have developed countermeasures for drones. So um, like law enforcement has those like nets or whatever they can shoot out to capture drones. Uh, they have jammers. Uh, they also have, uh, from what I heard recently, is they can trace the signal back to the operator uh, while the drone's in the air, and then uh, they can take out their operator, and that's apparently been going on in Ukraine. Uh, so, and there's been a few guys that have died that way, uh, from what I recently learned. Um, there are measures. You, oh, and, like before I go into this, like to prevent getting caught. Uh, using these is that these uh, little drones do show up on radar so if you're flying them high enough uh, they do show up on radar and they can see that uh, whether that's the enemy or uh, the people around you or whatever like the local airports they can see these on radar so keep that in mind um all right so going over ways to implement your drone all right Let's see. All right. Here is my little fancy diagram I have here. Uh, I'm going to draw a happy little uh, stick figure. Uh, he's going to look a little weird. All right. And give him a little remote control here. Uh, and we'll draw a drone here. Look all fancy and stuff. All right, and then this square here is going to be our target. This is going to be the ABC building, so the alphabet building. All right, so this is what we're trying to recon. Uh, this is our little staging area or whatever you want to call it. So you, what you don't want to do off the basics is you have that direct line of sight on your uh, your target is fly your drone straight to them from your position uh, this is an easy way to get caught all right and this is an easy way to identify where the operator is and the same thing for flying your drone back after you've done your recon is taking the same route back all right you don't want you don't want to go out the same route and then come back in the same route. Makes it really easy to trace your drone without any special needs and find the operator. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna launch from your position, right? And then you're gonna gain altitude or whatever. You're gonna wanna fly low, uh, depending on your environment and their capabilities. If you're in an open environment, you're gonna probably wanna fly low. If you're in a wooded environment, you're probably not gonna wanna like fly within the woods because you're going to lose signal very uh, quickly and same thing with mountainous regions a lot of mountainous regions I've noticed uh, you get better signal by flying higher uh, and you do lose signal pretty uh, quick as soon as you go over the other side of the hill or something or you start to crest that hill you're going to lose signal quick and you're going to have to probably climb up the rest of that hill to gain more uh, signal so you're ready to launch your drone. What you're going to do is you're going to take your drone off, all right? You're going to fly one direction, all right? Probably hook around and then you're going to you're going to want to allow at least a good amount of space between you and your target so that they're not seeing this shit. All right? So you're going to want to fly out, hook around, and then then you're going to want to conduct your surveillance depending on however means you can. I don't know what you're surveilling. If it's a building, a convoy, uh, maybe just a fob, a uh, just a little camp of people, uh, whatever, uh, depending on your situation. Um, these drones are, depending on the environment you're in also, they're pretty hard to hear, especially at higher altitudes. And they're also uh, pretty hard to see. If it's like on a clear blue day or like cloudy days, depending on the bottom looking of your drone. And if they have lights on them or whatnot, they can be kind of hard to see. All right. And like uh, I flew them over fobs and 
at the altitudes that they're they're at they're definitely you can definitely hear them um but there's so much going on in these areas that they don't hear them or see them because they're all caught up in their own little days all right and you can fly around your target or whatever take your pictures get your head counts of whatever they got look for your their like hard targets or whatever their manpower uh, maybe identify key targets you want to hit in the future or take pictures of and so like things with antennas or whatever all right and then after you're done same thing you're not going to want to take you know that way back or like straight back you don't know if someone saw it someone maybe did all right what you're going to want to do is you know either fly off in this direction like and then hook maybe come back down like that or you know uh after you fly off in this direction you know fly this way all right but or do that full circle all right but you're not going to want to take the same approach and you don't want to go directly back and forth you want to take a like wide wide loops around all right so that's maybe if they're unsuspecting of you droning or but if they're aware there's possible of drone reconnaissance and they're aware of drones um things that you could probably consider doing is mobilizing your you know your position so getting in a vehicle like a van a car truck or whatever so now we got happy little timmy here you know he he's in a car he's got his 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 mom driving him to soccer practice and he wants to scope out the soccer field and see what the other team's practicing before the game all right all right so as you know they're driving down the road he's like mom slow down we're like come to a brief stop on the side of the highway he lets the drone out all right mom stays within you know the distance of the drone with the signal uh, and then you know the same thing uh, from where you launch since you're going probably east you're probably going to send your drone west and then around to your target so you know you're like all right uh, we're going this way with the car the drone swung out back that way we're still maintaining range depending on your environment you can get like a pretty good range out of these like 3,000 meters off a of basic drone so you can definitely get like a mile or two of uh, space between some if that's if you got like a clear line of sight towards your drone right so like I said depending on your environment so you're going west you send your drone east it comes out hook around you're gonna fly around your target take some pictures all right you know then you're gonna want to maybe uh you know fly you could probably now that because you're mobile you could fly it back or whatever to that pickup site um being careful of people seeing stuff so you can either fly and fuck. so you can fly the direction of where you're going catch your drone there take off you know the the mobility allows for mo more flexibility in your pickup sites and your drop off sites um but you're not going to want to stay at these locations all right so applying the same tactics of a stationary to your mobility and then but that takes out the chances of them like directly locating your your drone all right or like following your drone back to you all right so another way of um keeping yourself safe is not connect connecting any uh external devices to your remote and flying it within direct of sight but this completely limits you so it's not really a recommended option because you're not going to really see what you're taking pictures of and you're just kind of like flying around your backyard or something now 
once you attach your device, you won't want it connected to any kind of internet or anything like that. And you want to limit uh, what you're using. So I'd probably have a separate device that you use uh, for uh, the drone for viewing what the, it's got on the camera and also having an SD card that you can remove and having the also the capabilities of um, saving pictures from the drone so that's the case it crashes or you lose, end up losing it or something like that so you can save that footage back on your device from the remote because they have that capability getting into this drone stuff uh, you're going to want to practice it you want to practice uh, different kinds of landing it uh, you're going to want to practice landing it in different kinds of terrain uh, and launching it from different kinds of terrain. If you got rougher environments, you might just want to learn how to hold it and launch it while holding on to it in your hand and then launching it from your hand instead of off the ground. Uh, pretty much off the ground is pretty uh, typical or of a flat surface to learn, but then advance on to le learning how to launch it in other areas like inside from a window, sticking your hand out the window, concealing your position, same thing um because you don't want to be seen sitting down in an open field launching your drone you can probably stick it outside the window launch it from there also you know learn how to launch it from a moving vehicle uh, but start off with a stationary position and then working because you're going to want to eventually learn how to launch it from a moving vehicle it's going to help you out in the future with your drone reconnaissance stuff